How's it going, YouTube? The Ant-Man 816 is here right now. I've got to ask you a question, folks. Do you need binders? Do you need um, uh, more binders than any? Are you a collector? Do you just need a place to put your cards? Are you tired of putting your cards in boxes? Well, I'm going to list some options, and I'm going to give you the main option. Or a good option you can do. Alright, so guys, we know first off that we can spend 30, or excuse me, 25 to $35 to get a monster binder. For those who don't know who, what a monster binder is, we got one right here. Mind you, it's a, this one's kind of old and everything else, but yeah. So, 25 to 35 Or if you want to, you can get, you know, these uh, uh, design binders for 10 pages for 10 bucks. Or you could even get an El Cheapo. Uh, for five, five, five to six, maybe four for some places. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a great way to um utilize your money if you are a collector or you just need multiple binders to store your cards and you have the money. Pretty much for the two ten dollar color binder or design binders I showed you, for twenty bucks you can get eight more than that. I'm gonna show you how. It's called. DIY. Do it yourself. Do it yourself binder. That's what I'm done with these. These are do it yourself binders. I know what you're thinking. I can already do it myself. I can go buy a three ring binder and everything else and I can have over 500 pages. Well, yes, you can. But that will cost way more than one time. I'm talking about for 20 bucks, you can have 10 binders. 10 pages, 20 bucks. Hear me out, guys. Alright, so here we go. We got one made one out of all old stuff. So this right here, this didn't cost me none. This was for free. This was all old stuff I had from over the school years, all the old Pokemon collections, stuff like that. So this will cost me free. But if you have no supplies, 20 bucks and you can have these done. Alright, so this right here is a 29 cent three pronged folder with two pockets. Now, mind you, we'll have to get some cardboard to make these binders. Pretty much, here's the binder. You put your 10 pages in the binder. Now, this is a little bit more than 10 pages, but I wouldn't go over no more than 10. I'm sorry for going a little over 10, but yeah. Anyway, so here's the problem. You just open it up. You put the, open it up. You do that. You put the uh, pages in. You close it up, and then you fold it. And then you think you would be done, but then, you know, these folders, you know, you know in school, you know, they're flimsy. They tear real easy. So what you do is to help protect the uh, binder itself, you add in a piece of cardboard that has my real name on it. I don't care. I'll tell you guys my real name. I mean, in real life, I'll tell you guys my real name. Anyway, you know, and here's the back part. You know, you gotta put one back here too. See, it's sturdy. You can check it, you can, and you're not gonna fold it. On some of these monster binders, you fold it. You can rip these monster binders. And then it's like you messed up $30, and you get mad because then you'll have to go spend more. But you can end up with 10 of these for 20 bucks. Pretty much, and now, mind you, um, you'll have to start research. You can find a hundred um, pages that you can just insert in these folders for anywhere from 10 to 12 bucks. And now, these right here, and depending on if you get them through back to school or not, back to school you can get them for, I think, as low as 15 to 10 cents. And these normally are like 29 cents because you can get a hundred of these for like $29. So you're looking at 29 cents a folder. Well, if you can just find a good deal on 10, so you're looking at 15 bucks right there, and then with the cardboard, and then one roll of duct tape, because you'll have to duct tape these so the cardboard doesn't slip out. I mean, you could make it a little bit better and not add the duct tape, it's just you don't want the cardboard to just be taken out or slipped out, so that's why I duct tape this. But pretty much, you know, it's a stackable binder if you want to. If you have 10 of these and you have the bookshelf, you can just slide it in the bookshelf. I mean, you can grab 10 different colors, and you can go, okay... Uh, monster spells, traps, you know, and you can know, and then you can write on the front too with a sharpie, which is beautiful because you can put whatever the hell you want to put there. You can put your name, you can put what's in the book, you can put collection, band cards, you say Fudo, Crow cards, Yugi, Kaiba, uh, cards to uh, pay people off. I mean, you can title anything and put anything in the binders. Yeah, guys, M816 with a DIY binder special. Uh, and let me know what you guys think of it. M816 out. Peace.